I think of it more as a magazine, and there are over 300 articles and, as of now, 38 podcasts, um, all about instructional design, visual design, learning experience design, changes in the technology, book reviews, video reviews. Research will show, has shown that as a society and as a culture, we have moved a lot from a text-based form of communication to a visual form of communication. Now we have many infographics, we see icons being used everywhere. So I think it's pretty important for learning experience designers to understand uh, the principles of visual design. There are a lot of challenges, but that's also what makes the work so much fun because you get to be analytical, you get to create solutions that are creative. Um, I think instructional designers have to know so many fields. They have to know multimedia, how to write scripts, how to write storyboards, how to do an analysis, user interface design, visual design. And it's almost endless, the skills that we need to be good at what we do. And that's also what makes it so much fun. I think that we have to kind of keep up with and, and feel the pulse of the modern workforce. So now people are learning on their phones, almost anything that they have a question about, they can get the answer to on the internet. I'm seeing that there is more of a demand for video because people can view it on their phones, so you can do very short little pieces of micro learning that will help people uh, learn. I think using uh, data analytics for learning is going to become big and is growing. And we do have this gap in our industry where we don't get enough feedback. We finish up a course and then we go to the next one. And we don't close the feedback loop. You know, what inspired me was I had graduated with a master's degree in instructional design and a lot of the people that I was working with, I noticed didn't have degrees and were missing this kind of chunk of knowledge about cognitive psychology, instructional science, and maybe even different processes for designing learning experiences. So I thought there's this knowledge gap there in the field. I'll just try to write articles, and then things just kind of grew from there into a, a very wide range of content.